Good evening, folks. Let's uh, talk about the best raw editor for Fujifilm, but also, too, let's uh, talk about facts versus personal likes or dislikes or opinions when it comes to the software that we choose. And let's make a distinction between a raw editor and a pixel level editor where we actually go in and uh, and Capture One Pro actually has an enormous amount of options, but let's start off by stating the obvious. There never has been and there never will be ever a replacement for Photoshop. Now, obviously, I know of you, a lot of you don't like the subscription service of Adobe. I've been using it for a long time. Both Photoshop and Lightroom, both uh, Creative Cloud and uh, Lightroom Classic, um, the paid-for subscription service, and even the best Photoshop editors in the world only know about 40% at most of what Photoshop is capable of, but for a uh, pixel-level editor, there never will be a replacement for Photoshop. I mean, this is not my opinion. This is a fact, and I know a lot of you don't like uh, subscription services, and that's perfectly fine. Um, already it used to be, now let's go uh, to the best raw editor for Fujifilm files, and uh, there used to be a recommendation by me, and that's not the case anymore, of Iridiant. Now, the Fujifilm acknowledged um, something, uh, who knows, maybe a year and a half, maybe more than a year and a half ago, that there were issues with their X-Trans uh, files for wormy artifacts, people, uh, and that has not been fixed entirely in Lightroom, including the most recent update for uh, Lightroom and uh, 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 Photoshop in the Adobe Suite has not been entirely fixed. There are ways around it. Uh, most uh, people don't know that's the issue unless you're pixel peeping, but it is not undeniably not the best raw editor for Fujifilm files, whether that be uh, X-Series or GFX series. Fujifilm, I don't know when this started. I don't think anybody other than the inside folks of Fujifilm know this, but uh, Fujifilm developed some sort of uh, internal love affair with Capture One. I don't know how much they paid the folks at Capture One for this, but uh, there are pro options now for Fujifilm development in Capture One Pro 12. Uh, by the way, there's a couple different options that you could test this without spending any money. You could download a free 30-day trial, and no, I'm not getting paid for saying any of this at all, by the way. Capture One Pro uh, Fujifilm, which has all the options, you get a free 30-day trial for seeing the full uh, uh, capabilities of Capture One Pro 12. Um, you can actually do that with full Capture One Pro 12, which uh, supports uh, not only Fujifilm, but say if you got a Nikon or a Sony, like I have more than one system, i.e. Nikon and Fujifilm. But there's also a, a free option. What's the current price? is $219 for a perpetual license with Capture One Pro 12 for Fujifilm only. In other words, Fujifilm cameras uh, for raw support. And Capture One Pro 12, no matter how much you like or don't like Capture One. I've been doing a lot of training on it, a lot of training lately, and there is nothing that compares to the raw editor of Capture One Pro 12. Uh, I think this is largely due to the the love affair or bromance and however much money Fujifilm paid to uh, Capture One to develop a professional interface product for raw development of their files. But there is also a free version, if I can go up here, and it has a lot of the features, including no limits on exporting that I know of, and it's called Capture One Express Fujifilm, and I'll actually put the link uh, below, and if I can go over here, you can actually uh, take a look at the list, and I'll put this link below also. The difference between the full paid-for version of Capture One Pro and Capture One Express, where you actually have a perpetual uh, free a raw editor in Capture One Express, but you actually have some of these limitations on some of the professional features like uh, uh, sessions, uh, loop tool, some of the really important stuff actually like color balance tool is incredibly important to basically everybody. Uh, annotations, uh, advanced color editor, uh, color skin tone editor, film grain, um, uh, layers obviously so, uh, sharpening and overlay, and uh, you can actually go down the list of the, uh, the what you do and do not get 
uh, from uh, Capture One Pro paid for and the uh, the free version of Express. Uh, there are also a lot of uh, training videos on YouTube, the uh, Capture One 12 uh, YouTube page that you can watch, and there's also a tutorial page. And then with their, their tech support, I've only had to call them, not for the software, but a couple of technical questions on my license. They've actually got really friendly uh, support uh, when you call them. They want you, obviously, to go through their website, but they have all these uh, videos uh, you can watch. Uh, if you actually just watch the first uh, eight or nine videos, you can do 80% of what you need to do in learning how to use Capture One Pro 12, these uh, free tutorials. Uh, to watch, but uh, actually Capture One Pro 12 is undeniably the best output. There are a tremendous amount of options. Uh, color editor, um, your sliders on Capture One Pro 12, uh, the, the introduction of layers on uh, Capture One Pro 12 over that of 11. Uh, they keep improving the software. A lot of people are gravitating towards Capture One. I am uh, was for a long time resistant to using uh, Capture One uh, Pro because I've uh, spent way too much time on Lightroom and uh, Photoshop and the Creative Cloud Suite with Adobe and make no mistake there are some uh, uh, workflow interfaces that Adobe has perfected uh, for many many years which are superior to Capture One but uh, ignoring, which they are important, they're not meant to be ignored, but if you ignore those nuances of uh, increased workflow and the ease of use once you learn Lightroom, there is nothing that has better output as a raw editor and uh, dropping some huge tips for taking over to uh, Adobe Photoshop for a pixel level editing, whatever your skill level is in Photoshop, and there never will be a replacement for it. But there's uh, nothing comparable to uh, to a Capture One Pro 12. Incredibly happy with it. I'm still actually training on some of the advanced features with uh, Capture One Pro 12, but uh, I'm incredibly happy. Here's a couple GFX files. Um, talk about nuance, uh, detail, all the detail. Yes, I think it's a 250 millimeter. Go over to uh, what is this? Here? The GFX. I know, obviously. Yeah, this was the 250mm f4 and the GFX 50s. I remember it was blasting cold outside. Some people uh, actually commented uh, when I showed some uh, horse riders in this session or another that uh, their skin tone looked off because uh, it was freezing cold outside and they were galloping around, freezing their faces off. If you rode around on a on a horse galloping, your uh, skin would probably turn nice and rosy pink. I think I actually see makeup on the inside of her shirt here. <laughs> That's going in too far, right? One of the uh, joys of medium format is you got detail out the yin yang. Um, but uh, just wanted to uh, recommend Capture One Pro 12 and just uh, you know do a do a, a download on their Capture One Express Fujifilm, which is uh, free in perpetuity or a, a 30 uh, day. Uh, trial on uh, the pro version with all the features and uh, you know, just watch a few training videos but uh, nothing will match the uh, the raw editor and output of uh, Capture One Twelve for Fujifilm's raw files that's not my opinion that's a fact Lightroom does not does not uh, does not match much less uh, surpass Capture One Pro 12 as the Fujifilm raw editor so I've been asked this question a lot recently, so I just wanted to post that information. And uh, like I said, I get no remuneration remuneration from uh, Capture One on this video. So uh, check it out yourself, okay? Thanks. And